Afrobeat news. P Square was in Puerto Rico to headline one of the biggest Afrobeat festivals in the world. Now, Afro Nation is one of the biggest festivals that bring together some of the biggest in Afrobeat music, the biggest names ever in Afrobeat music to perform in venues around the world. Now, the last one that just took place, or the most recent Afro Nation event that just took place, spanned from the 24th of March all the way to the 26th of March and saw the likes of Bonner Boy. Actually, Bonner Boy pulled out last minute, so he and it was replaced by Rick Ross. So he saw the likes of Rick Ross, P Square, and Whiskey as headlining acts, um, alongside, I think, Megan Thee Stallion as well. And this was one of the biggest Afrobeat festivals ever for this year and it was in Puerto Rico, one of, you know, the Caribbean islands, one of the US states. So it was a spectacular night of straight up Afrobeat music, some bit of dance hall and also hip hop. And P Square, they were out there, they headlined on the Friday, which is the 25th of March and they showed up, P Square, they showed up to give a performance. Now. With festivals, you guys should understand that the way I look at performances with festivals is a bit different. I don't really emphasize heavily on live performance in festival because you know how festivals are. It's like you have a bunch of artists coming in. So you can't always have your whole, you know, live band out there. So sometimes you just have to go with a DJ and maybe it's a bit of live band. So that's how this particular event was and p square they showed up to perform they had their dj on set and they have a bit of live band experience as well but one thing that p square show did well was to make sure that they put on a show the body energy the body engagement the body unism and not to forget they bought the uh, dance moves they came in with the dance moves the break dancing everything up on stage and in fact there was a highlight that was posted by um billboard himself i think billboard himself posted the highlight of that show because they did the classic michael jackson dance move and uh, billboard had to post on that because it was certainly a highlight of the event anyway p square was out there so was olamide naiva mali rema Yemi Alade, Stoneboy, Vocalistic, Oxlade, as well as Bosiswa. So it was a packed house. 24th of March was a really spectacular event. Now I'm going to make another video later on about Yemi because Yemi gave quite a performance as well. But for now, these are some of the clips from the Peace Square Afro Nation event. Guys, without much talk, roll it. We doubt you. There's no possibility. There's no positivity. Always negativity. They're gonna follow you. You are my everything. You are my destiny. This is reality. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
So guys, yeah, tell me what do you think about this particular performance from Peace Square, the one and only Peter and Paul Okoye, and what do you think about the packed event that Appalachian held? Now, I'm guessing if I'm talking about capacity, it should be about 50,000 or more people in that, you know, in that arena, in that venue. Um, on average, Appalachian events gathers about 20,000 people. So. But this one, I think it was way more than just 20,000 people. It was, it was a really, really packed, packed event. And you guys know how the Caribbeans love some Afobi music. So I think they were ready to party. Anyway, guys, don't forget guys to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and stay tuned for more Afobi related entertainment. And just coming at you, I'm Afobi now, guys. Peace.